الهيئة السورية للتربية والتعليم علم Geniuses. Hello, dear friends, and welcome to the first part of the last unit of our book, English for Starters for the 12th grade. Let's get started. In this episode, we are going to talk about 1. Talented people. 2. Child prodigies. 3. Intonation. After having had an idea about those talented people, we are going to read a little bit about them and their stories. Let's start reading. So talented, so young. A child prodigy is a person who has an outstanding talent or skill at a very early age. In this article, you are going to read about three child prodigies with different talents or skills. Youngest master now doing research. At the age of 12, Tathagat Avatar Tulsi was the world's youngest person to gain a master's degree. He finished high school at the age of 9, gained a BSc at the age of 10, and MSc when he was only 12. At 18, he is now a PhD student in Bangalore, India, doing high-level research. His amazing mathematical talent was noticed by his parents when he was only 6. He is like a superman. Don't worry, if you study harder than you are doing now, you can achieve your goals in life. Now, we are going to read about another boy who plays chess. This boy was great playing chess to the extent that... Let's see. Playing to win. Magnus Carlsen from Norway is one of the best chess players in the world. He started playing chess with his father at the age of five and played his first tournament at the age of eight. In 2003, at the age of 13, he was awarded the title of Grand Master. Chess became his passion, and Magnus was allowed to take time off school to practice the game. He received coaching from Kasparov, one of the greatest chess players and geniuses of all time. At the age of 19, he was ranked number one in the world, becoming the youngest player to be awarded this title. Chess is a very exciting game I used to play when I was a child, but I didn't become a man like Magnus.
Now we are going to read about a very famous man of music. This man is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. But as for me, I prefer math and chess to music. Anyway, let's read about him. Public less interested as child grows up. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was one of the greatest musical geniuses of all time. He was born in Salzburg, Austria in 1756 and began writing music before he was four years old. As a child prodigy, he toured Europe playing his own compositions on the violin and other instruments to astonished audiences which often included kings and queens. In common with many other child prodigies, Mozart lost some of his appeal to audiences when he became an adult. Despite his genius, he had to work hard throughout his short life to earn a living and died very poor at the age of 35. Vocabulary. Now we are going to do the following exercise and match between some vocabulary and their meanings. Let's begin. Meanings of the words A. Champion, a person who wins a sporting competition. B. Demonstrate, to show or prove. C. Digit. A number. 1, 2, 3, etc. D. Outstanding. Excellent. Unusually good. E. Talent. The natural ability to do something well. F. Theory. A system of ideas to explain something. G. Title. Name showing a person's status. Words with more than one meaning. Break. I can't take my break at this moment. Don't break my ideas. Nouns and adjectives. Ability. Able. Amazing. Amazement. Appeal. Appealing. Astonishment. Astonished. Mathematical. Mathematics. Musical, music, popular, popularity, skill, skillful. Now we are going to do the following exercise using the previous nouns and adjectives. Let's start. A. My sister is a very able student. B. To my amazement, I get over 90% in the exam. C. Many children find young animals very appealing. D. When she said she was leaving, we just stared at her in astonishment. E. I've never been very good at mathematics. F. I enjoy listening to all kinds of music. G. Sport has increased greatly in popularity in recent years. H. The more you practice, the more skillful you will become. 
We are going now to read this short text about child prodigies. Pay good attention to the prepositions. Child prodigies Child prodigies are children who demonstrate talents at a very young age. Mathematical geniuses are often able to do complicated calculations in their heads in just a few seconds. This is particularly remarkable when the numbers they are dealing with have been selected at random. Musical geniuses like Mozart are often able to learn to play new pieces of music on a variety of instruments very quickly. Mozart was certainly the most talented composer of his time, but many people believe he was really a hard worker, not a genius. When he died in 1791, some people said that overwork was the cause of his death. Intonation Intonation can be used to show whether we are interested in what someone says to us or not. You are going to hear some short conversations. Listen and decide whether the second speaker in each conversation is interested or not in what the first speaker says. The first two are given as examples. A. I can do mental calculations really quickly. Can you? A. Ali's very good at doing calculations in his head. B. Is he? A. I'm learning to play the violin. B. Great. A. My sister's competing in next year's Olympic Games. B. Brilliant. A. I love traditional music. B. Do you? A. I'm going to a concert tonight. B. Are you? Now, we are going to reverse intonation and give the opposite meaning and in order to see the way intonation affects the meaning. A. I can do mental calculations really quickly. Can you? A. Ali is very good at doing calculations in his head. Is he? A. I'm learning to play the violin. Great! A. My sister's competing in next year's Olympic Games. Brilliant! A. I love traditional music. Do you? A. I'm going to a concert tonight. Are you? By this, we come to the end of the first part of Unit 12. Next episode is going to be the last one. Take good care of yourselves. See you in the very soon.